What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are all enjoying the quarantined lifestyle. I don't know about you guys, but I'm certainly becoming a troglodyte just sitting at home all the time. Like I'm literally becoming a cave troll. So you know what's up guys. It's time to get working on the speed again. And I got a cool little budget modification for y'all today. So in my world, Safety is always first when it comes to cars, so I will be today installing a third set of brake lights on the Mazda Speed and tail lights. So it's like a two-in-one package. So basically what it is, is just AliExpress, Alibaba, whatever the hell it's called, $10 lights that I will be installing to help with visibility at night in foggy conditions. You can see we got the speed down there. So you buy it and you wire it up to your existing brake lights and then you have this cool look at night for you know the extra tail lights and the extra brake lights. These lights right here are the additional brake lights and tail lights that we're going to be wiring up in the speed. You see we got the wires. As you guys can see right here on the rear bumper, I'm talking about these guys right here. So all these are good at is just reflecting other people's headlights and reflecting, you know, other sources of light as you're driving so people can see you better but what we're going to be replacing them with is actual bulbs that are inside these little housings so once we step on the brakes the brake light will light up and once we turn the headlights on not only are the tail lights will be lit up but also those reflector lights as well so yeah, like I said, pretty cool little feature. We're gonna be installing that and it'll sure make your car stand out from everybody else and you'll get more safety out of it as well. Boy, are you a trader? What the hell is this, dude? What the hell is this garbage? Yo, are those slicks? All right, so we got the tail lights out. The left one was a pain in the ass, it got stuck, and then I had to had to use the hammer to bang out one of these one of these prongs because they were stuck. Other than that, pretty simple process. Now time to take off the rear bumper. Alright, new issue. These uh, plastic clips, always the last ones of course, to take the bumper off. They get very corroded and very brittle and they tend to break. So at this point, I'm just gonna have to break these off to take the rear bumper off. Are you pressing the brake? The off brake? Yeah, they get brighter, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so yours are wired correctly. All right. <laughs> Damn it. This is, this is the light. This is ghetto. I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> <So, laughs> okay. I, oh my god, I ripped out all the shoddy LED wiring. But this retard tinted the front window. Yeah. Like, why would you do that? Why would you ever take your front window? I don't know. But this guy did. This man thought that was cool. He's not tall, dark, and handsome. He's he's just dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan's car had uh, 250k, right? 256. 256k, original engine, original tranny, original clutch, and he was pushing, what, 25 PSI? 27. 27, dude. What is that, stage three Pro Tune? Yeah, it's dyno tuning everything, right? Oh, yeah. Three, dude, that thing was insane. Eight, 305 horse. Now we'll go ahead and start reassembling back bumper. All the miscellaneous clips on the ground. Throw these garbage fucking things out and uh, good to go. I remember those uh, clips that we broke. Now I have to use zip ties, my best friends. 
get that lined up and then just zip it up because cl plastic clips are pretty dumb. All right, so unfortunately I have to take the wheels off because the mud flaps would not line back up and you can't physically get your screwdriver in there. So it is what it is, boys. But uh, sometimes it's a sacrifice that you should be willing to make. <laughs> what? This is, this is the peasant spec. That's the peasant? Oh yeah, I got that showroom, this eh? It's Honda spec. Like my knockoff cap. JDM for life, bruh. It's like coming off. This is performance. It's red too, so. Dude, you know red means fast. Yeah, yeah. Red, you know? red, red. <laughs> this is good for 50 horsepower. Dude. Nice. Yeah, like, so that's Dan's new car. After his uh, speed got written off, he had a white speed. That's the TSX. Got got some sick RPF ones. You got some yellow calipers. Those black. Dude, you gotta yeah, you gotta get it back to OEM spec after that kid in Surrey owned it. We don't talk about it. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a little bit darker. It got a little bit darker. We're out here, and uh, obviously the install is complete. You can see it's sunset here in BC, so we're gonna show you what the lights look like first at the brake lights and then the tail lights. Woo! That is so sexy. Just look at that. That is so sexy. Do it again. Oh yeah. So as you guys can see, this is, uh, these are not, the car is not braking right now. So we got the extra tail lights, as you can see, along with uh, the two tail lights that we already have. And now step on the brake. Oh yeah. That is hot. I don't know about you guys, but that is a very sexy, sleek look. All right guys, so this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cheap little mid of the week mod for you guys. $10, about two hours to install. The uh, link will be in the description down below, AliExpress. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop me a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.